In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to use bookmarks in Google Chrome. So bookmarks in Google Chrome are a cool thing where you can bookmark a certain page or a certain website, and then you can have it saved in Google Chrome so that you can easily go back there in the future. So if you want to create a bookmark for a site, you just need to go to whatever site it is you want to create a bookmark for, for example, techtimewithtimmy.com. And then once you're at the website, all you need to do is click on this little star up here. So just click on that star and it will say bookmark added. So the name will be tech time with Timmy and the folder is bookmarks bar. So if you're happy with all of that, you can just click on done. And now you have a bookmark saved. But if you wanted to make it a more customized bookmark, for example, if you wanted to bookmark the videos page so you can easily go back and see all the videos, when you're creating your bookmark on that page, You'll just need to click on more and now you can choose a whole lot of options for it so you can change the name here so it could be cool videos tech time with timmy or just videos or just tech time with timmy you can change the url if you wanted the url to be something specific and you can even put it in a folder so it's going to go into the bookmarks bar which is the definitely the easiest way to find them so it's best to have it in the bookmarks bar but you can have it in a subfolder of the bookmarks bar so if you click on new folder you can have a new folder and maybe you want to name it cool things and then you can click on save and now you will save the tech time with timmy videos page into the cool things folder on your bookmarks bar so that's really cool so once you've saved your bookmarks if you want to go and find them again so you can click on them you just need to click on these three dots in the top right corner here and then come down to bookmarks and down here you'll see a list of all your bookmarks so timmy's got the tech time with timmy homepage as a bookmark and also this folder called cool things and when you hover over it it gives you the videos page of tech time with Timmy that we also bookmarked so that's really cool and that makes it really easy to find your bookmarks but you might be wondering why it's called a bookmarks bar and how you can find your bookmarks in a bookmarks bar so if you want to find your bookmarks in a bookmarks bar just open a new tab and when you're on the new tab page of google chrome you will see this bar here with all your bookmarks so there's Tech Time with Timmy and you can just click on it to go there or you can click on the folder and see all the bookmarks in that folder. So that's really cool. And you might actually want to have them always showing like that. So that would mean if you're on techtimewithtimmy.com, you would then also see all your bookmarks so you can easily jump around between different sites without having to open your new tab page. So if you want to do that, just click on these three dots again and come down to bookmarks and click on show bookmarks bar. And now, no matter what website you're on, whenever you're in Google Chrome, you will always see your bookmarks and you can easily just go to whatever bookmark you like, like that. So that's really cool. But if you decide you'd rather not have the bookmarks showing up here because you don't want it to be taking up the extra space on the screen, you can then just click on the three dots again and come down to bookmarks and click on show bookmarks bar again, and the bookmarks bar will disappear, but it will still be on your new tab page. So whenever you create a new tab, you'll still be able to see your bookmarks, and you'll also be able to find them through the menu that Timmy showed you before. So that can be quite a good option if you don't want them taking up the screen all the time. You can also rearrange your bookmarks. So Timmy doesn't have many bookmarks, so there's not much to rearrange, but if you just click and drag on your bookmarks, you can change the order that they're in. So if you have sites that you go to really often, you might want to put them over here or something like that. So that can be something quite good as well to be really organized. And you might sometimes also need to edit your bookmarks. So if you need to edit it, you can just right click on the bookmark and click on edit. So it's a right click if you're using a mouse or you click with two fingers at the same time on the trackpad if you're using a trackpad on a laptop. And then you'll get this cool menu here. And then you can change the name. So you could change it to something else. So Timmy's changed the name. You could change the URL. And you can even change where it is. So you could click new folder and make up a folder with a different name. So you could have it in a different folder. And then once you're happy with any changes you've made, you can just click on save. And it will now be in a folder called Timmy and going to techtimewithtimmy.com slash cool. So you can completely customize your bookmarks after you've saved them. So that's really cool. And if you save bookmarks to Google Chrome and then sometime later you decide maybe you don't ever go to that site anymore or you just don't want the bookmark to be there, you can quite easily remove the bookmark. So just go up to the bookmark and right click on it and click on delete 
and the bookmark will be gone. So that's really cool if you have a whole lot of old bookmarks that are taking up space and you no longer want to go to them and you just want to get rid of them, that you can really easily do that as well. So that's really cool and that's really all there is to it. You now know pretty much everything there is to know about Google Chrome bookmarks. So if you found value in this video, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below and click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every time Timmy makes a new video. So that's really cool and that'll be the end of this episode of Tech Time with Timmy.